it's Nancy with Nancy's Nibbles of Life and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Nancy and I'm on the WW plan. I'm on the blue plan and I get 23 points a day and I love bringing you videos centered around WW content. But sometimes I'll bring you a travel or a beauty blog as well. So thank you so much again for joining me. Subscribers, thank you for clicking on this video. I love to have you here. I have something yummy for you today. It's a Bananas Foster, a one point Bananas Foster. Unbelievable. You know, I just got back from New Orleans a few weeks ago and I love the flavors of New Orleans. Of course, the gumbos, the seafood, the po' boys, but I also love the sweets. I was kind of blown away by things like, of course, the beignets, but things like Bananas Foster, which is also a famous New Orleans dessert. And I thought, how can I make this at home and make it delicious and work it into my points? And I think I've figured it out air fryer <laughs> bananas foster you're not gonna believe this let me show you how it works okay guys for your bananas foster of course you're gonna need some bananas so i've only been having one banana when i enjoy this treat because this is something that i have at the end of the day as a sweet treat or you know even during the day it's the summer months sometimes i'll top it with a little ice cream but today I'll stick to my one point Bananas Foster recipe for you here. But I'm gonna go ahead and split my banana in half and add it to the air fryer. So I'll include a little clip here of what that looks like. And then I'm gonna do something interesting which is spray a little bit of cooking spray on top of the split banana. And it's because I want my sugar to stick to the banana. So for my sugar, you could use regular sugar, whatever, you know, flavored sugar that you have, even that's zero calorie, but I'm using the Truvia. It's made with the Stevia plant and I really like the texture of this Truvia. So I'm gonna use two packets of it on top of my banana and you'll see when it comes out of the air fryer, it gets nice and caramelized and that banana turns, oh, incredibly sweet on you it's unreal so i have my air fryer on at 400 degrees and i'm going to leave my banana in there for about 12 minutes and then i'll show you what it looks like when it comes out okay guys here it comes out of the air fryer that sugar topping that we placed on top has allowed those bananas to get a little caramelized and that sugar topping is almost crunchy. It reminds me of like a creme brulee. Oh my goodness, so good. And again, the heat just allows those bananas to get so sweet. Okay, here's the recipe. I'm adding about a tablespoon or two of some sugar-free syrup, zero smart points. And I'm also adding two tablespoons of this Aldi fit and active cream you know i have been loving this aldi fit and active whip topping it's just so good and that's about two tablespoons which is about all you need and it creates a wonderful wonderful topping for our bananas foster i'm adding a little bit of this pumpkin pie spice mix that i have this pumpkin pie spice mix if you just have cinnamon and nutmeg use that Topping it with a little sugar-free syrup. Yum! So good. It blows my mind every time how the sweetness of those bananas develop in this dish. So good. You guys have to try that. So, the only points generated for this air fryer banana frosters is from my fit and active light whip topping. It's one smart point for that dollop that I put on top. The bananas, of course, are zero smart points. I use sugar-free syrup for zero smart points. 
and I also used a pumpkin pie spice. You could use whatever you have. So that could be some cinnamon or nutmeg you may have at home. But let me tell you, this air fryer bananas froster, oh, it feels like something that is filled with fat and sugar and calories, and it's not. The cooking of those bananas makes this dish so sweet. You have to try it. This would be a great night topper to a wonderful family dinner or a family meal that you've had. Or you could be like me, even for yourself, before you turn in for the night. You just can't beat it. I have some vanilla ice cream and I might do that next time as well. That would probably be delicious. Mm. Mm. Well guys, that's gonna be it for me today. <laughs> My mouth is full. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and a like. And leave me a comment. Like I said, it just really kind of helps the videos get out there and helps my channel grow. Hoping to get to 2,000 before the year is over. So the more, the merrier around here. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today. And guess what? I'll see you on the next video. Bye.